Hello guys, hope you had a good Christmas and New Year, because now we're back with Asia. We've completed Oceania, South America, North America, and Africa. Uh, now we have Asia, that means we have 48 countries, because Palestine's not included. It's not my fault. And um, yeah, we got a shit ton of languages, uh, which I'm not even remotely close to being comfortable pronouncing. I'm looking at you, Vietnamese, and Mandarin, and Mongolian, and... A lot of others, but anyway, I was planning on surrounding myself with Asian items for the occasion, but it turns out I don't really have that many. Uh, I only have stuff that everyone else has, like uh, these flag of Iran. I've got this uh, Japanese newspaper. Um, I also have these weird Chinese chimey balls, which I know are legit because it says made in China on them, or on it. I also have these absolutely nuclear duck ramen noodles which i've been too scared to eat but i think i will eat them today to celebrate um actually finishing this quiz if i do a couple of things just real quick before i begin i'm not the first one to do this there's a guy called muskox who you should absolutely um check out and follow if you like him he's way better at typing than me as well he do does these quicker and again if there are any like disputed territories or partially recognized states uh, that i'm not mentioning it's not because i excluded them it's because the quiz does only seem to include like UN member states and yeah it's outside of my control guys just so you know all right let's get going I'm gonna go ahead and start with uh Russia got Yamalo Nenets Autonomous Okrug got Hanti Mansi Autonomous Okrug then we got Sverdlovsk we have Shelyabinsk Kurgan typing in Kur activated Khor in uh, Qatar. Then we have Kurgan. Cumen. Uh, we have Omsk, but we're not typing Om. That's going to activate uh, Om Al Kaiwen in uh, the UAE. Then we've got Oms, which activates Homus in uh, Syria. And then we have Omsk. Tomsk. Novosibirsk. Uh, we come to Altai and Altai Krai. Also, Herb uh, Alte in uh, Mongolia. We've got Krasnoyarsk, third biggest subdivision in the world. Then we have Kemerovo Oblast, Kharkasia, and Tuva. Activated Tuv in Mongolia, but then we have Tuva in Russia. Um, Irkutsk. We have the Sakha Republic, the biggest subdivision in the world. If it were a country, it'd be the eighth biggest country in the world right between argentina and india so it's pretty massive it would also be the least populated country by far um we've got buri atya we've got zabai kalski amur habarovsk jewish autonomous oblast and um, primorsky krai Sakhalin. Uh, we have magadan and Kamchatka Krai and Chukotka Autonomous Okrug. And that's Russia. We're obviously not including European Russia here. Uh, and by the way, the line between Europe and Asia is drawn by the Ural Mountains, if you didn't know. Right. Um, I'm trying to zoom in on Kazakhstan, but it's so big that it, it's almost impossible to fit it all. Okay, we have Aktobe. Uh, we have, oh yeah, we can start with the directions. We've got West Kazakhstan, North Kazakhstan, East Kazakhstan. Typing all of this is going to activate all of the other Northwest, East, South stuff. Um, and then I think formerly South Kazakhstan, but now known as Turkestan. We have Atirau, Mangistau, um, Kizilorda, Kostanai, uh, Akmola. Which contains the capital Astana, no longer Nur Sultan. Uh, the name has been changed back. Before that, it was Astana again, and before that, it was something else I can't remember. But I think it's the capital with the most name changes in uh, in the world out of all countries. Karakanda, we have Jambul and um, Almaty, the biggest city in Kazakhstan. Then we have well, we have Shymkent, the third biggest city, and then we have an interesting region. It's Baikonur. It's actually leased, aka rented, um, by Russia, um, 
and it's pretty much synonymous with the Baikonur Cosmodrome, which is another word for spaceport. But yeah, that's a spaceport in Kazakhstan, which is where Russia launches all the crewed space flights, including Sputnik and Vostok back in the day. So I found that really interesting. There's interesting history um, around how it was built as well, but I really don't have time to go into that. I may or may not have already tried to film this, but talked way too much and ran out of time. So I'm going to try to be a bit quicker this time around. Um, then we have come to Uzbekistan, the doubly landlocked country. We have Karakal, Pakistan. When I type in Karak, we activate Karak in Jordan. Karakal, Pakistan. Navoyi. Uh, Khorazm. Bukhara. We have Hash. Dario, Surkhon Dario, Samarhand. Then we have, what do we have? Jizdakh, uh, Sir Dario, Tashkent, Tashkent's capital of Uzbekistan. We come to, zoom in a little actually. I'm already zoomed in, it's just very small, never mind. Uh, we've got Andijan and Vergana. Then we've got to the last one, which is Namangan. Cool. Let's do Kyrgyzstan. We've got Jalal Abad, Talas, Narin, uh, Chui, Osh, Isukul, and Bishkek, the capital, and Batken. Then right below here, we've got um, Tajikistan. We start with Sukht. Then, region of Republican subordination. Rolls right off the tongue there. We've got Khatlon and Gorno... Oh, Ghor activated. Ghor in Afghanistan. We've got Gorno Barakshan. Then we've got Dushanbe, which is the capital. And that's Tajikistan. Okay, Turkmenistan is next. We've got it here. You see this thing here, it's actually a big, it's enclosed and it's a massive, uh, very like hyper saline lagoon. It's the third most uh, saline lake in the world, I think. And it's massive, it's almost the size of Slovenia. I didn't know it existed. It's just as salty as the Dead Sea, if not more so. Uh, when I tap in Balkh, we activate uh, Balkan, oh, uh, Balkh in Afghanistan. But we're looking for Balkan. We have um, Dashkuz, Lebab, Mari, Ahal. And uh, we've got the capital, Ashgabat. And that's Turkmenistan. Can I have a sip of coffee? I'm actually doing it first thing in the morning after failing last night by taking too long. Oh, goodness. Anyway, uh, let's do Iran. We've got North, Khorasan, Razavi, Khorasan, which contains the second biggest city in Iran, Mashhad. South, South, Khorasan. This mic is too close. Um, what else? Sistan and Balochistan. We have Kerman, Yazd, uh, Qom, Esfahan. I can probably do the, yeah, sometimes type with an E, sometimes with an E, I, E. We have Semnan, mm, Golestan, Hormozgan. Esfahan is the third biggest city in Iran, by the way. Fars, Bushehr, Huzestan, Baharmahale, Bakhtiari, Ko, and we have to slow down for these, and Boyer Ahmad, Kohili and Boyer Ahmad. Ilam, um, Lorestan, we have Hama, sorry, Hama, Hama activates Hama in Syria, Hamadan, there's so many type-ins that this always happens and it's really annoying, you're halfway through a word and activate something else, it's going to be exponentially worse if we ever do a full world quiz, so we got Mazandaran, that activated something else, activated Mush apparently in Turkey, um, Mazandaran, Gilan, Ardebil, East, not Kazakhstan, uh, Azerbaijan, 
Also, typing and talking at the same time seems to involve two parts of the brain, which makes it impossible for me to get it right. I'm usually okay at typing, but now I'm awful. Kazvin, Kazvin, something like that. Zhang uh, Zhang. Um, what are the stan? Uh, then we've got um, Marakazi, Tehran, capital and biggest city, Alborz, and Kerman Shah. Yeah. We move on. We have Armenia with Shirak, Lori, Davush, uh, Aragatsotn, Ko Kotaik, Yerevan, the capital, Armavir. Which sounds like an antiviral uh, medication to me. Uh, we got Yehar. Goodness. Kunik. Vyots Zor Ararat Yunik. Then we come to Georgia with two partially recognized states Abkhazia and South Ossetia. So Abkhazia is actually its own region here. Then we got Same Grelo, uh, Zemos Vaneti, Ratcha Lehumi, Kvemos Vaneti, and we have Imereti, Guria, Ajara, um, and Shidakartli, which contains most of South Ossetia. And then we have Tshetam Tianeti, which has a part of it as well. Kacheti, Bilisi. And then we come to Samtre Yavacheti, something like that. Kvemo Kartli. Right. I'm really, I'm just really nervous about time now because I already fucked it up once. Doesn't bring me the same joy this time around, unfortunately, doing this quiz. So we have Ags, Dafa. We're doing Azerbaijan, by the way. And the Autonomous Republic of Nakhchivan, which is the exclave there down to the left um seems to be one subdivision in this quiz it actually has like eight and sometimes those are included in azerbaijan subdivisions i did learn them all but it uh, turns out that was unnecessary you know as opposed to learning all these other ones which was strictly necessary tovuz kazakh I, th I don't think my mum would agree that it was necessary she doesn't seem to understand what the hell it is that i am doing with my life we have Zakatala. We have Tovuz. No, I already did that one. Kach. Uh, Shamkir. Shamachi. It's over there. Samuch. We have Beylagan. Kadabey. Tartar. Tashkazan. Geigel. Ganja. Goran Boy, we have Naftala, the city, Yelach, and Ninga Shevir, Shaki. Some of these have little kind of rings in them, and it's because it's both a city and a subdivision. Uh, Olhuz, uh, Bala, Usar, Kuba, Kubadli. Apparently, Q before a U sounds a bit more like a G. Kachmaz. Shabran Siazan Khizi Ab Sheron Sabirabad Kobustan Baku or Bache or something, I think it's pronounced by actual Azerbaijani people. But what the hell do they know? Sumkhait Haji Gabul Dalian Shirvan Neftchala Sa I did Salian Lankaran, Masale, Astara, Lerik, Ardumli. We have Jalabad, Pila, Suvar, Satli, Imishli, Ismaili, Aksu, Akdam, Akdash. Then we come to Zardab, or something like that. Uchar. Chai, I think, and then Kurdamir, we have Barda, Akshabadi, Akshabadi, uh, Fizuli, 
and uh, Jabrail. We have Zongilan, Hoja Vend, Hoja Lu. Then we have Kalbahar, I don't know how to pronounce these. Nakshivan, that one, Shusha, and Stepa Nakert, located in the now dissolved Artsakh Republic. And it's pretty much completely depopulated still, I think, after that big well, pretty, exodus, pretty much. Right, let's do Turkey with its A to 1 provinces. I'm going to take a sip of coffee for this one. That cat hair landed in, apparently. Cool. We have, we start with the three provinces that are completely located in Europe. Edirne, Kirklarli, and Tekirda. She is silent. Then we have the partially European ones. We've got Istanbul, separated by the Bosphorus Strait. That's the line between Europe and um, Asia there. We've got Çanakkale, which has the Gallipoli Peninsula in Europe and some islands, and the rest of it is in Asia. They actually recently constructed the world's longest suspension bridge, the 1915 Çanakkale Bridge. It's named after some famous uh, Ottoman victorious campaign, and it's got a lot, a lot of symbolic numbers in its measurements and stuff. But anyway, longest suspension bridge in Çanakkale. Then we have Kocaeli and we have Sakarya, Yalova. We have Zonguldak. Oh yeah, and Dulce. Barten, Kastamonu, Sinop, Samsun, Kiresun. Oh yeah, Ordu, Trabzon, Rize, Artvin. Beautiful city with big buildings located up in the hills. It looked really cool. And the entire province is actually really beautiful. Ardahan, we have um, Kars, Igdir, Are, Van, Akari, Shirnak, Mardin, Gaziantep, Gilis, Osmanie, we have Hatay, Kahramanmarash, Pibas, Gümüşhane, Baiburt, Arzurum, Elazi, or something like that. Arzinchan, Bingel, we have Tuncheli, the least populated province. Bitlis, Mush was already filled in before. Sirt, Batman. I'm sure they're tired of hearing that, but yeah. Yar Bakir, um, uh, Adiaman. We have Malatya, Kaiseri, Adana, Adana, oh, that activated Adan in Yemen. Then we have Mersin, Antalya, Karaman, we have Konya, Ankara, Karabük, Chankere, Chorum, um, Amasya. Me, Jesus, okay. Right. Dokat. Um, we come to Yozgat. Kirikale. We have Kirshehir and Nev Shehir. Shehir means city. Nev means new, I think. So, new city. Kir might be old. Is that old city? I think it might be. Aksarai, Nide. Isparta. Afion, Karahisar. Manisa, Urtur, Mula, Aiden, Izmir, uh, we have Bali Kesir, well Bali activates Bali in Indonesia, Bali Kesir, then we've got Bolu, we have Kutahia, Eski Shehir, um, Pilecik, Bursa, and we come to Ushak and Denizli, and that's Turkey. That went quite smoothly. Are we doing okay on time this time around? I think we might be. Really stressing me out because it's a pain in the um, in the old um, anus to do it more than once because it takes an hour. Akar Kesarvan Jebel seems to be missing from this one, but it exists. North and south are already completed here. Mount Lebanon. 
and uh, Beirut. Also, interestingly, I think in Arabic, uh, north is Al Shamali or something like that. But in the pronunciation for Lebanon, it's pronounced like Shmel. Is that like an accent, a dialect thing, or did I just get wrong information? Any Arabic speakers, let me know. Baalbek, Hermel. Yeah. Nabatye. Cool. We're working our way down the uh, Arabian Peninsula here, by the way. If this part is considered the peninsula yet. Anywho, let's do Israel. Haifa, Tel Aviv. Got the central district. Jerusalem. And that's it. Palestine's not included. Sorry, guys, it's not my fault. I did learn them all. Turns out that was also for nothing. I guess it's kind of relevant now that... Anyway, we do Cyprus now. Famagusta, or Amohosto, I've heard it pronounced in Greek. Even though I guess that's the Turkish northern Cyprus part, which is under Turkish control. Anyway, we've got Nicosia, the capital. Lefkosia, I think you say in Greek. We've got Larnaca, or is it a soft? Is it a Larnasa? Limassol, Paphos. And then we actually have the British territory, Akrotiri and Achillea. Two military bases or something, I think. Right, let's do these ones that have been um, highlighted here to the left because they're so small. We've got the top one, Kuwait. I typed in Kuwait and it activated something. I didn't mean to type in Kuwait. Uh, I meant to type in Yahra. Oh yeah, because it's Kuwait City, it activated the capital. We got Ahmadi. Then we got this one, Hauli or something like that. Did it work? Okay. Mubarak al-Kabir and Parwaniya. Then we go down, we come to Bahrain, which is still missing the capital, or Amanat al-Asima. And Muharraq. Then we come to um, Qatar, where North has been activated, and um, Khor has been activated. And, oh gosh. Yeah, al Dayan. Then we have um, al Shahaniya, Rayan, um, Salal. We have Capital, Doha, and al Wakra. Wa activated Wa in Myanmar. Right, Syria next. Aleppo. They don't say it like that in Syria. We'll be surprised to learn. Raqqa. Uh, al Hazaka. We have Deir ez Zor. Idlib. Al Latakia. Bartus. Rif Dimashk, which contains Damascus, and then the governorate uh, Rif Dimashk. We've got Dara. Kunaitra. And um, as Suwaida. Oh yeah, and there's these two governorates of Egypt, uh, which are geographically in Asia. That's why they're included in this quiz. Not Sinai and South Sinai. Let's do um, Iraq next. This one here. So we have Uruk, Nineveh, city with a lot of history. Which I guess you'll find with a lot of the cities in uh, in the Middle East, lots of history. We have Al Anbar, Najaf, Muthana, Al Basra, Vikar, Maisan. Um, then we have Wasit, Iyala. We have Al Qadisia and Karbala, Babil, Baghdad, <coughs> Saladin. Or Salad Eddin, something like that. Named after a guy, I think. Halabia. We have Al Sulaimania and Kirkuk. We come to the panhandle shaped Jordan here. So we've got Mafrak, Zarka. By the way, all these K sounds or the Vila plosive sounds. Wait, is that a plosive? The Vila sounds are more like. Um, they're more. Uh, Glottal, I guess, um, further down the throat, so I can't say them at all. I also tend to assume that all the sounds are like that, which they're not. It's not Idlib, it's Irbit and uh, Ajlun, Jerash, um, Balka and 
uh, Akaba, Madaba. We already had Karak and we have Tafila and then Ma'an, which has uh, Petra, the ancient city. I think the biggest tourist attraction in Jordan. It's also fascinating history. Look it up if you're interested. I guess I'm getting old because I'm getting more and more interested in history. Right. Tabuk, Medina, Makkah, Al Baha, uh, Asir, Shizan, Najran, Riyadh, Qasim. We have Ha'il and Jof. That was Saudi Arabia. Then we come to the kind of small United Arab Emirates with Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, and Ajman. Uh, we already have Umm al Kaiwain from before, Bujaira, and Ras al Khaima. And that's it. Then we have Oman. We have Musandam, the exclave, um, Al Abu Raimi. Al Batina North, Batina South. Goodness, the typing today. Muscat. I say that every day, so I guess it's just um, a pro general problem I have. Dahira, and we have Adakilia. Then we've got Sharkia North, Al -Shar no, Ash Sharkia North, and Ash Sharkia South. Doesn't Sharki already mean east? So that's that was kind of southeast and northeast. Anyway. Yemen is next. It has quite a few subdivisions, actually. So we got Al Mahrah or something. Hadramut, Shabwa, um, Abyan, Al Baida, Thais, Lahir, something. Ib, Adali, Marib. Um, and Damar, we have uh, Raima, we have uh, Ad Hudaida, Daada, we have Hajja and Amran. That's it. Oh, in Oman, I forgot about the last one, so far. And also, Al Wusta was already filled in, it looks like. If you're wondering why Socotra isn't included, it's because it's geographically in Africa. So we covered that in last episode. Right, let's do Afghanistan. If you didn't know, they speak... I didn't know uh, a while ago what they spoke in Afghanistan. They speak Dari and Pashto mainly. Dari is actually on a dialect continuum with Farsi or Persian and Tajik, which they speak in Tajikistan. Didn't know that, uh, which is interesting. Oh, another interesting thing about Tajikistan, actually, is the third most mountainous country in the world. Most people probably think of like Nepal when they hear mountains, but Tajikistan has an average elevation of over three kilometers, which is higher than any peak in my sad little country. So that, I thought that was cool. Also in Tajikistan, they don't use the Arabic script when they write this language. They use the Cyrillic one. So that's quite interesting. In Afghanistan and um, uh, indeed Iran, they use the Arabic script. Anyway, this is one of those tangents that's probably going to cost me this quiz. Because I'm going to run out of time. So, Badakhshan, Bakhar, let's try to be quick now then. Bakhar, Kunduz, we already had Balkh, Yozjan, uh, Faryab, uh, Badakhis, Herat, Farra, Nimruz, Helmand, uh, Kandahar, Zabul, Urozgan, Hazni, Daikundi, uh, Baghlan, Bamyan, Sarepol, we have Samangan, Panshir, Parwan, Wardak, Kapisa, Kabul, Paktika, Host, Paktia, Logar, Nangarar, oh, activated Nan in Thailand, Nangarar, um, we've got Lahman and Nurestan, and Kunar. That was Afghanistan, with its 34 provinces, I think. We come to Pakistan with some other territory disputes, which we're not going to get into. We've got Azad Kashmir, that's over the Kashmir region. We've got Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. 
Oh, pain to type. Sindh, Bal Balochistan, and Punjab. And Islamabad, the capital. Punjab activated Punjab in India as well. So I guess we'll just do India next. Can I even zoom into this massive country? The northernmost one is Ladakh. Oh, I couldn't even see it there, but trust me. Himachal Pradesh and Shan... Oh, activated Shan in Myanmar. Chandigarh. They don't say R. I think they do more like a of a retroflex R, by which I mean that the tongue is kind of rolled back in the mouth, so it's like R -da, R -da, R -da. Anyway, probably failed that regardless. Haryana, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Delhi. We've got Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. We have Telangana. Maharashtra, Kerala, Karnataka, Goa. Oh yeah, don't forget about Dadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. Puru Cherry almost sounded kind of European saying that, <clears throat> which I am, so it makes sense. Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Uh, we've got Lakshadweep, Tamil Nadu, where they speak Tamil, as you can tell. In the south, they actually speak... Uh, mainly the Dravidian languages, which is a separate language family. They don't all speak Hindi in India. It is a language, but it's more commonly spoken in the north, in the south. It's Dravidian languages like Telugu, Tamil, um, Ka well, Kan Kanada, and another one. All of them have more speakers than the uh, Nordic languages combined. So it's kind of, yeah, that's crazy to me. Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, uh, Shatiskar. We've got West Bengal, Yarkand, and Bihar. Then we have the tiny Sikkim, Sam, Meghalaya, and um, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, activated Naga in Myanmar, Nagaland, Manipur, Tripura, Mizoram. I think that's India. Okay, we come to Nepal. We have Koshi. For a long time, that was called province number one. Madhesh, finally called Madhesh, used to be called province number two for a long time. Bagmati, Gandaki, Karnali. Sounds very Italian, this one. Lumbini. And then we have Surur Pashim, which has already been activated. I think it means far east, no, far west in Nepali. So that's probably why it was activated when we typed in west earlier. Gonna have some more coffee. Hmm. Nothing like lukewarm coffee. Uh, let's do Bangladesh, Tulna, and Barishal, and Chittagong. I've heard them say like Shatogram or something. Is that the local pronunciation maybe? Dhaka, Rajshahi, Rangpur, uh, Sulet, and can I get this right? Moimunsingho. It sounded, it sounded Japanese. Uh, whatever, guys. Let's do, okay, let's do Mongolia. Mongolia is apparently kind of rare in languages. It doesn't have the, it has neither the K sound or the L sound, both of which are extremely common across languages. Instead, it has something like, for, instead of L, it has a lateral thing, like <laughs> something. It sounds crazy. It also means I can't say them. So <laughs> let's, oh, I'm spitting everywhere as well. Let's try this. Oops. Hold. Um... Actually, maybe we don't try it. Let's just type them, perhaps. Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's got the er, though, which I also have in my language, um, which is nice. No. I am hunger. Yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah. Mm, imagine saying this shit. Actually, it looks kind of simple, but it sounds... Maybe I'll put up some audio. Maybe. Bull. I don't... I don't know, man. Don't have... Such... Bather... And, um... Hmm. Oh, this one I, I think I can say. It's Hinti. Something like that. Okay, Ulaanbaatar and 
that one. Cool, Mongolia, the least densely populated country in the world. Obviously, you don't count stuff like Greenland, which is like an 80th of the density of Mongolia. But hey, also, I forgot something here, I see. Of course, I forgot. Jammu and Kashmir in India. Right. Let's, okay, um, let's do these ones. Sri Lanka. M mostly cardinal and ordinal directions in its names. We still have northwest and north central. Uva and Sabara Gamuva. We see Singapore down here at the bottom. Let's just do that one. It's the names are boring. We still have Southwest. We've done Northwest, North uh, Central. We've got Northeast, Southeast, done. Right, then we have Maldives here, mostly atolls and islands. This is quite interesting. It's got a, uh, an interesting naming system. So because they have so many atolls to keep track of, they've given them code names so that they can more easily refer to them. So it's the equivalent of us calling islands and shit like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But they're using their alphabet from it's the the Vehi language or the Maldivian language, and the alphabet is called Thana. So yeah, they're named after the letters of the alphabet. So we start with Ha Alif, which is the first letter. And okay, also if the atoll is split into like north and south, they add a second letter to denote denote north and south. So in this case, we had Ha and then Alif for north, and then we have Ha and Dalu for south. Then we have Shavyani. I'm only using the code names now. It's easier to type rather than North Thiladunmathi Atoll or Thiladunmathi Uthuburu something in the Vehi. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so I have to get going here. Nunu Lavyani. Ra Ba. We have the Mali Atoll. Then we have Alifu Alifu. For Alifu, and then the other Alifu is for North, Alifu Dalu. <clears throat> Did I already do Kafu? Yeah. Um, Bafu, Babu, Mimu, Lamu. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing them in order, but Dalu, 12th, Tha, 13th, Kafu, Alifu, 15th. Well, Gafu is the 15th. Um, Dalu. Then we have um, Naviani, Sinu, or Adu City, as it's its actual name. Okay, we jump up to Bhutan. Rasa, Pimpu, Paro, Tamtsi, Dagana, Shuka. We have Punaka, Pem mm, let's not do that one yet. Wangdu Poja. Something like that. You don't pronounce all the letters for some for some reason. Well, it's probably transliterated from the Zonka script, so it makes sense that it it's wrong when you brute force a Latin script onto it. Anyway, um, Sarpang, Rongsa, Lintsi, uh, oh yeah, Bumtha and Trashigang. Oh no, that was Trashiangtsi and Trashigang. Trashy gang, that's how I remember it. Sandrup Junkar, uh, Pema Gachel, and Zem Gang, and Mongar. I've give, given up the pronunciation stuff. It takes so much mental energy, and I can't type while I do it. Let's do China. Keep it zoomed out when we do the big ones. And these are tonal languages now that we're getting into. So bear with me. Don't get offended by, <laughs> by this shit. Xinjiang. Uh, we have Sichuan, Xizang, also known as Tibet, uh, Xinghai, Chongqing, we have Gansu, we have Inner Mongolia, Heilongjiang, Jilin, Liaoning, Hebei, Henan, Huebei, uh, Huenan. Oh, we, we did that one, not in order now. Uh, Beijing, Tianjin. Then we have the notorious Shan Shanxi, Shanxi. It's two tones. I don't know if I got it right, but uh, there's a difference. Ningxia, we have Yunnan, Guizhou. No, I'm not even going to try. Sorry. Guangdong, 
Guangxi, Xi, Xi, Shandong, uh, Jiangsu, Jiangxi, Anhui, Fujian, Shanghai. I think that's it. Oh yeah, Macau, which is Aomen, I think in um, in Mandarin they say Aomen. Um, and then we got Hong Kong. Let's do the Koreas now. Ah, let's do Taiwan actually. Right. Lian Chang or Kang. Jin Men. Pang He. Hu. Hu. Hainan. Bing Tung. Tai Tung. Kao Xiong. Chia Yi. We got Un Lin. Shang Hua. Tai Chung. We come to Miao Li, Xin Chu. Goodness me. Um, Tao Yuan, New Taipei, Taipei, Geelong. We've got Yilan, Hua Lian, Nantu. Let's have a sip of this coffee before it goes absolutely disgusting. Okay. The Koreas. I did finish it, didn't I? Yeah. Koreas. North Korea. North Hamyong. South Hamyong. We have Chagang. Myeongdang. Um, we've got North Pyongan. South Pyongan. We've got Pyongyang, the capital. We've got um, South Hanghe. North Hong He. Um, we've got the cities, Vason, Nampo, and Gyeong, and Gangwon, which activates Gangwon in South Korea. We've got South Korea now. Yongi, we've got Incheon, Seoul, uh, South Chungcheong, North Chungcheong. We've got North um, Gyeongsang. South Kyong Sang, North Chola, South Chola, um, Kwanju, Jeju. Then we have Sejong, Taejon, we have uh, Taegu, Ulsan, Busan, and that's it for South Korea. Sweet. I guess we can do Japan now. Slightly easier to pronounce for me. It's actually not too dissimilar from Finnish. So, Hokkaido, Aomori. Why do I do this? I, I, don't, I don't know. There's something about the way they say these things. Iwate, Akta, Yamagata. I'm doing the hard G, by the way. I heard the G and the N. But maybe that I think that might be an accent thing. I'm just going to do with what I'm more comfortable pronouncing. Fukushima. Also, the F is not the labiodental F that we do. It's a bilabial fricative. So they use two lips. So it's kind of like a hu, hu. can't really do it. But yeah. Fukui. Anyway. Niigata. Toyama. Okayama. Ishikawa. <clears throat> Chiba, Tokyo, uh, oh yeah, Miyagi, we have Guma, um, oh yeah, Yamanashi and Tochigi, Saitama, Anagawa, Shizuoka, Nagano, we have Gifu, Aichi, um, Nara, Nala, Higa, Wakayama, Osaka, Kyoto. By the way, Tokyo and Kyoto are very related in their names. Kyo means capital. Kyoto means capital city. To means city. Kyoto, Kyoto used to be the capital. Now we have Tokyo. No, Tokyo. So To means east, actually, because Kyoto has the short To. 
for uh, city, and Tokyo has to for east. So Tokyo means east capital, Kyoto means capital city. So now you know. We got Hyogo, Tottori, Shimane, and Yamaguchi. <clears throat> then we have Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Oita, Saga, Fukuoka, Kumamoto. We have Miyazaki <clears throat> and Kagoshima. My voice is <clears throat> leaving me. Oh, shit. We need to speed up. All right, all right, all right. Fukuoka. No, did that one, sorry. Kagawa, Ehime, Tokushima, Kochi, Okinawa. Okay. I'm done with my parody of Japanese now. <clears throat> Let's do Myanmar. Um, Kachin, we have Sagaing, Magwe, Mandale, Yakain, and Eyabadi. I cannot type. Anyway, Bago, Yangon, Pao, Danu, Tanin, Tarugi. We have. Kaya, Kain, Kokang, Palaung, and Nepido, the capital. That was Myanmar. We come, yeah, Southeast Asia now, tonal languages, nightmare, can't pronounce. Laos is next. Hong Sali, Wafan, Luang Prabang, Luang Namtha. Bokeo, Odom Sai, Daina Buri, Dai Sombun. We have Vientian, both a capital and a province. Um, Yang Kuang, I wrote in all caps. Um, Bolik Hamsai, and that one. Savanna Kiet, Salavan. Nekong, Shampa, Sak, and that one. Right, we come to Cambodia. I think the R's in Cambodia are kind of rolled, so it's a bit easier to say. But Ruatana, Kiri, Mondul, Kiri, Kroche. Then we have Stung, Treng, Rea, Vihir, Rea, Saihanuk, Oda, Mianchei. Pantie Mianche, Pai Lin, Batambong, Batambong, something. Now I've pronounced it. Uh, I'm just pronouncing it, so I think that's how it's spelled. Siem uh, Riep, Gah Gong. Can you tell I'm stressed? I'm stressed. I want to get this done in time. Kampong Cham, Kampong Shnang, Kampong Tom, Kampong Spu, Dandal, Nom Pen, um, Takio Kai, Kampot Bong Hmum, um, Svai Ring, something like that, man, um, Ray. Veng. Okay. Let's move on to Philippines. We have Ilocos, Cordillera Administrative Region, Cagayan Valley, Central Luzon, uh, National Capital Districts or something, Calabarzon, which is uh, an acronym of the constituent provinces, as is Mimaropa, and this one, which is actually correctly spelled in capitals. Um, if I could just spell it correctly as well. Then we have Ecole, Western Visayas, uh, Central Visayas, Eastern Visayas, Zamboanga Peninsula, Davao, Caraga, Northern um, Mindanao, and the Bangsa Moro um, region, yeah, the Muslim region. 
Bangsa means um, uh, like nation or race, I think. And Moro is Filipino for um, Muslim, I think, because Moro comes from more from Spanish. It says a bit about the Spanish history of Philippines. Anyway, we have Brunei, Brunei, Belait, Tutong, Temburong, and um, hello. Brunei Moara. Yeah. Let's do Malaysia. Perlis, Keda, uh, Penang, Kelantan, Perak, Pahang, Terenganu, Kuala, oh, we, Kuala Lumpur has been filled in, probably from typing uh, capital. Putrajaya. Um, we have Selangor. Negeri Sembilan, we have Melaka, Johor, Sarawak, Labuan, and Sabah. Cool. Let's actually do Indonesia now. Oh, we also see this little rings down here. Christmas Island and Cocos Islands. Why is my browser showing this shit? Hello? Go away. Okay. Um, anyway, Indonesia, let's zoom in, Aceh, North Sumatra, West Sumatra, South Sumatra, Riau, we got Jambi, um, Bengkulu, we got the Bangka Belitung Islands, and then we got Lampung, not to be confused with Lampang in Thailand, um, then we got West Java, oh yeah, Banten, Central Java, East Java, Yogyakarta. We already have Bali from before. West Nusa Tenggara. Doesn't Tenggara mean like southeast already? I guess it makes sense because it is kind of southeast. East Nusa Tenggara, um, North Kalimantan, South Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, West. Kalimantan, East Kalimantan, or we come to Sulawesi. Is North like Utara? Is this um, Sulawesi? Utara. Oh, yeah. Gorontalo. So this would be Sulawesi Tenga. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Sulawesi. I don't have time for this. I can't remember the directions in, um, in the Indonesian language. West, uh, to type in West Sulawesi. I swear, if this is what causes me to run out of time. Southeast Sulawesi. We've got Maluku and North Maluku. I think that's Indonesia. And then down here, we've got East Timor. Timur already means East. So it means East East. We have Oikus or something. Dili, Ermera, Aileu. Uh, Likisa, Bobo Naro, Kovalima, Ainaro, Manufahi, Manatuto, Paukau, Paukau, Vikeke, and Lautem. More coffee is needed. That's really not very tasty anymore. Jeez. Oh, wait, do we only have Vietnam and Thailand left? To be fair, they have so many provinces, and they're extremely tonal languages. Let's see how we do. Bean, bean. This is Vietnam. Uh, Lai, Yao, Lao Cai, Ha Yang, Cao Bang, Ha Can. Something. Um, Im Bai, Son La. Lang Son, Uta, Pai Mui, or something. Um, Hua Bin, Nin Bin, Ha Nam, Ha Nam. We have Nam Bin, Pai Bin, um, Hai Fong. We have Hai Kyung, can't say these. Bak Yang. We have Quang Nin, we have Vin Phuc, 
Hanoi capital. Then we have Bak Nin and Hung In Nghe An or something. Han Hua. Hua. Uh, ha Tin. Quang Bin. Quang Chi. Fourteen Hue. Um, Quang Nam. Quang Ngai. Got one of those annoying tones. Danang. Han Tum. Ya Lai. Luck. Luck. Luck Nong. We have um, Bin Fuk or something. Bin Jung. I don't know. Tai Nin. Long An. I think you get the point. I don't need to keep repeating that I'm bad at this. Ho Chi Min. Um, Nin Chuan. Min something. Ba Ria Vung Tao. <clears throat> mm, bin din. I'm skipping some H's by the way because you apparently don't need them to complete these. Um, yeah, we have gosh, who in in I don't know, lam dong dong nai. And we have that one and that one and that one and um, bin chi. We have. Travin, Vin Long, Dong Tap, and Yang, Tao Yang, no? Oh, wait, it's uh, Anto, Bak Liu, Sok Chang, and Ga Mao. Right. Thailand. Oh my god, it's the last one. Will we make it in time? Ma Hong Son. Chiang Mai, Chiang Lai, Ba Yao, Re. We have Lam, Lampung? No, Bang. Lampung was in Indonesia. I told you not to mix it up and I did it myself. Lampung, Uttaradit, Sukopai, and Fitsa Nulok, Lui, Nongkai, Buenkan. Nakom Anom Sakon Nakon Udon Pani Ubon Ratchatani Am Natcharun Muktahan or something Yasoton <laughs> Buri Ram Di Sakit Surin uh, Roy Et Karasin Maha Sarakam. No, I, I can't do this. Okay. Uh, Kong Ken. Nong Bua Lam Pu. Shaya Pum. Um, Fe Shabun. We have um, Nakon Ra Sha Sima. Ra Shin Buri. Shon Buri. Cha Cheng Sao Sakeo. We have Ranong. Oh, that was the other one. Rayong. Hmm. Chanta Buri. Prat. Hitchit. Then we come to Kam. Hang. Hit. Nakon Sawan. Uthai Pani. Chainat. Lop Buri. Saraburi, Singburi, Angtong, Tupanburi. We have Kanchana Buri, Ratcha Buri, uh, Fetcha Buri. What else? Nakon Nayok, Ra Nakon Si Ayut Aya, and uh, Samut Prakan, Samut Sakon. Samut Song Kram. Uh, we got Bangkok Metropolis and Nonta Buri. Hmm. Nakon Patom and Patum Tani. Man, it's so easy to mix up these names. They're all so very similar to me. Prachuap 
Kiri Khan, um, Shumpon, Surat Thani, Nakon Si Tamarat, Tanga, Buket, Buket, something, Kerabi, Rang, Yala, Satun, Pat, Patalung, Songkla, no, yes. Yep, just need to spell it correctly. Patani, Naratiwat. Oh my word, I've missed one somewhere. Oh, this is a nightmare to find. Is it one of the capitals somewhere? Ooh, don't like this. One is missing. It's just, it's invisible, so I can't see it. Shit. It's one of those tiny ones, man. I did do these capitals, didn't I? Yeah. I'm going to have to look at the list just to see which country we're talking about because it's invisible on the map. Um... Yeah, yeah. Gosh, I typed all of these in, really? Oh, 14 seconds. Jesus Christ. Come on. United Kingdom. Yeah. Akrotiri and Akelia. I talked about them, but I didn't type them in, apparently. Okay. Okay. It's done. Oh, that is draining. My brain is mush. Right, okay. We're finished. Let's have a look at some stats. 1.3% of test takers score 100%. Actually, kind of high. Um, but Jetpunk is a bunch of nerds. That's why. But yeah, gosh, that was Asia. And um, next week, we have Europe. And I'm quite excited about Europe because it's my home turf. I speak two of the languages there. I speak Swedish and Finnish and English, I guess. And yeah, the other languages are just more familiar to me. I studied some French in school, but decided that it was lame, which I regret now. Classic. If you want to be notified of when the Europe video drops, you know what to do. And if you made it this far, I'm extremely grateful. Um, and um, hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye. So, uh, I almost forgot about the insane ramen that I promised to eat in the beginning if I uh, completed the quiz. I now wish I hadn't promised that, but here they are. Don't know, let's see if you can see them. Yep, uh, they smell evil, they look evil, and um, <laughs> their fumes are enough to make me wish I hadn't been born. But I guess here we go, I'm just going to have to move the mic. Guess we'll see what happens. Oh. Um. I guess it, it's spicy. Yeah, hiccups. <coughs> Jesus. Okay. <coughs> oh. Let's have some more. Oh. I'm going to be honest, I was expecting to die. It's not nearly as bad as I was thought it might be. <clears throat> Once the first wave passed, I guess, um, actually kind of tasty. So I'm just going to enjoy this meal. And uh, I don't know in, at what stage in the video this will appear. If I haven't already told you to like uh, subscribe and shit, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, do that. Uh, bye. <laughs>